Hey guys, my name is Stephanie. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I make videos on personal finance and intentional living while paying off student loans. Today, what I wanted to talk about was our intentions for a low buy or no buy year. If that sounds interesting to you, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe while you're at it. So for 2021, we have some pretty big and aggressive financial goals, and I've talked about them in a previous video, but I think that in order to achieve all of these, we're going to have to be really good with our finances. Everything's going to have to go right. Um, so one of the ways that we're trying to achieve these, these goals is by limiting our spending and purchases. So I think that over the last like year and a half of being on our debt-free journey, um, we've done pretty good at limiting our spending and shopping and our, those impulse purchases, things like that, but there's always room to improve. So for 2021, we wanted to challenge ourselves and try to do a low buy year. Um, specifically, we want to do a buy nothing new year. And what we mean by that is we want to try to buy as much as we can secondhand. So First, we'll go over some of the rules that we're setting for ourselves for our buy nothing new year, and then we'll go over some of the exceptions. So for the first rule um, is obviously to buy it secondhand if possible. So we love going to thrift stores and just searching. Um, one of our side hustles is reselling, so we're at thrift stores pretty often, and we come across things that. Um, we would want for ourselves as well. Um, we like the hunt and kind of like digging for those hidden treasures. And we like that, you know, we're saving items from going to the landfill. So we really love buying secondhand, whether it's through a thrift store or there's options like eBay and Poshmark and Facebook Marketplace, OfferUp. There's tons of ways to get items secondhand. So we know that, um, you know, as we need items, we will be able to look for them secondhand and should usually be able to find what we need. The second rule is no impulse purchases. So impulse purchases um, can really be a hinder on your spending habits. We've been able to limit our impulse purchases in the past by maintaining a few different spending habits that include like waiting for 24 hours when we find something that we may want keeping a list of items that we know we want and being on the lookout for them. Um, and I think this year, um, instead of the 24 hours, we're gonna try and wait maybe a little bit longer, like a whole week, um, just to make sure that we have time to search for things um, secondhand. Another way I like to help limit my impulse purchases is asking myself the question, what's the worst thing that could happen if I don't buy this? And a lot of times, literally nothing will happen if you don't buy that. So that kind of just helps put things into perspective in terms of being able to help limit those impulse buys. Rule number three is no just in case items or excessive items. So no stocking up on you know extra shampoos and conditioners or things like that. Basically when something runs out, then that's when we'll go purchase it. And then the last rule is that experiences are okay. Um, we are fine with spending our money on experiences and activities. In fact, we would rather put our money towards those things like travel or um, you know, golf, things like that, where we're going out and doing something, spending time together rather than getting another physical object. Okay, so those are the rules. Now let's talk about some exceptions for things that we may not be buying secondhand during this year. The first thing is something that needs immediate replacing. So if something breaks and we can't fix it, or if there's something that we realize we need like day of or the next day and we don't have time to search for it secondhand or put in the time to look at a thrift store for it, then that's something that's okay. Obviously, we're gonna try to find as much as we can secondhand, but we're gonna give ourselves some leniency for those things that really just need to be immediately purchased. The next exception is things that can't be bought secondhand. So obviously things like groceries can't be bought secondhand and um, some auto parts like for the brakes and stuff for our cars, that's not something we're gonna wanna buy secondhand. Um, and also our shipping supplies for eBay, we do um, reselling on eBay. So things like packing tape and um, poly mailer, stuff like that, we're gonna have to buy new. Next exception is undergarments, so things like underwear, socks. Um, I don't think we're going to need much of it or any of it in this next year because we actually just kind of bought a few new things at the end of this year. 
Um, but those are things that I am not really willing to buy secondhand. Some people do, that's fine. Um, but just for my own personal preference, that's something that I would be buying new. The next one is a new pair of sneakers for me. So um, I really need some nice supportive shoes because for my job I'm on my feet a lot. So um, I think I've got about maybe like half a year left in my current pair of shoes. And then at that time I will be buying a new pair. Um, if I find like a really excellent pair um, at the thrift store, then I will buy them. But typically when I'm looking at the shoes at the thrift store, particularly the sneakers, they do have a lot of wear and use in them, even if they look nice. Um, and I really just need that support for my feet. So that is something that I would be most likely be buying new. The next one is linens. Now, obviously, sometimes you can get lucky and find some new or barely used linens, um, but we are looking for a extra bed sheet and some new kitchen linens. So we'll look for those secondhand if possible, but again, we are okay with buying those new. So then the last two items um, are kind of related to the fact that we are buying a house in mid-2021, at least that is one of our goals. So we may have to be buying a washer and dryer new um, if the house that we buy doesn't come with it or other kitchen appliances. And that's obviously things that um, we're not really wanting to buy secondhand just because of the risk of them not working. Um, we may look into it, but it's likely that we'll buy big and large appliances new. And then lastly, uh, we're looking to get a new and larger couch. And that is something that, again, we'll look on Facebook Marketplace and offer up if there's something really excellent and in great condition, um, then we'll go for that. And additionally, they ha it has to come from a house that doesn't have cats because I have a really bad cat allergy. So those are things that we're considering, um, but we're okay with buying a couch new if we need to. So like I was saying, with us moving into a house in 2021, I think this is gonna be a really good challenge for us to try and buy a lot of our things like our decoration pieces or furniture pieces. I know we're gonna need a kitchen table and chairs, things like that. Um, we're gonna be looking to buy all of those secondhand. So I think that'll be a really fun challenge and just trying to piece together our house nicely. And I think that um, the biggest thing is that when we move in, I feel like I'm gonna to want to get everything together immediately so that everything looks put together. But with buying secondhand, I'm obviously going to have to be taking my time and really thinking about the pieces and making sure that I really love them and that they work in the in our place. And so I think that's going to make me really end up loving what's in our house even more. So those are the rules and exceptions and how we plan on doing our low buy or buy nothing new year in 2021. Let me know if you guys have ever done a no buy challenge or a no buy year and how that went for you. I plan on posting some updates throughout the year in terms of, you know, if we mess up or what we end up buying. I'll share some of our secondhand finds. Um, I think it'll be a really fun journey. So if you're interested in following along on this, make sure that you're subscribed and don't forget to hit the notification bell. You'll get an alert whenever I post a new video. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one.